Hello viewers of the People's Systems channel. My name is Daniel and today we are focusing our attention on a Hike Vision AP camera featuring a 3D depth recognition technology that can count and track people. We begin. Subscribe to People's Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. So here it is such a tiny box and inside of which there's a very miniature camera and I've opened that so there's a mountain sticker for playing this installation, location I think where CD and well a quick stock guide now I'm gonna get here and so what we have here is the bracket a hexagon and a pack with screws and dowels and here are four pieces of a waterproof tape and well the camera itself let me just unwrap it it has a solid metal body and a plastic front panel here on top. The tail consists of a 12 volt power input, RG45 for the LED cable, and the camera supports PoE. Here we have the RS485 interface, alarm inputs outputs, and an audio inputs outputs. And well, here's a microphone and the intriguing color 2 megapixel full HD lenses, 2 millimeters of focal length, a view angle of 112 degrees. The dual camera module is here specifically for realization of a stereoscopic or binocular vision, as well as how our eyes work, thanks to which we can per perceive shapes, sizes, and a distance to the object. Well, in other words, a perception of the object in 3D. So our brain does it in a passive mode for us, and Hikvision created some special software that calculates all this for the camera. And well, we have seen this a lot of times in these days smartphones with a dual or more cameras. And well, besides the people counting feature, we're also able to filter objects inside by their height. And so a children, let's suppose up to 120 centimeters in height won't be counted or they will be counted separately. And the detection height is customizable here and I'm gonna show you this further on. And there is also an infrared sensor with a detection distance of up to 6 meters and H.265 plus compression rate support. And due to the fact that this is an outdoor type camera, the body was made with an IP67 protection rate, which means that it's completely protected from dust and moisture, so it will withstand almost any weather, as well as anti-vandal protection level IK08. But what we are really interested in is a people count and feature, and there's a lot to say about it. So, owing to a high collision special self-learning intelligent algorithms, the calculation accuracy is very high, and I'll show you that in the live demo further. And well, that high accuracy is manifested in that if several people cross the established counting line simultaneously, even in different directions, yet everyone is going to be counted. And for a cam to operate properly, you need to mount it at a 2 to 6 meters height, uh, the way where the lenses are, direct, are directed 90 degrees straight down to the floor. And usually it is installed in some entrance areas and pointed to entrance doors. And well, uh, the typical application places are parks, theme parks, shopping centers, cinemas, airports, all public places with a large and constant flow of people. So uh, moving on to a setup and demo. And so there are two options, the web interface and the IVMS 4200s. And well, the first is more familiar to me. So yeah, Internet Explorer. And well, yeah, here I entered the IP address of my cam in browser search field. So that will be one, uh, all right. It is suggested by the browser because I'm really frequently using it and yeah frequently use the mine. Here I entered that my account details, the admin, the default name and the password that I, that I use for like every video. And now go into the web control panel and there we are and we can see the live view already. So yeah, the camera is already activated. And well, the only thing I configured in it, I have uh, entered my email address uh, in there to be allowed to receive reports. Reports. Wow. Okay. I'm um, I mean, I'm into the system. Now we go into the configuration the settings and oh, wait until it will load. Here. Now what I have here. 
a standard uh, standard camera system settings. I mean, uh, go on the system settings, maintenance, security. You, you've seen this a lot of times. Here's network, and here the, in the advanced settings tab, uh, on the email point, uh, there is it. There is it. I, I entered all the email details. So whenever I'll get the reports, report. Wow. Why am I saying this like that? So yeah, we're specifying our email address like I did in order to receive reports. And well, reports configuration and their frequencies are further in the video. Next is the video audio settings. You know what, what it's about. So this cam has a microphone too. So I mean, I want to be video plus audio. And so I do that and save. All the same for the substream too, of course. Yes, doing it. Awesome. Now, well, the image settings, of course, you know what is this? Just well, adjusting the image the way you want it, the way you want to see it. So yeah, you've seen it too. Uh, the event, the event that's a movement and motion detection, a tampa, and alarm inputs and outputs. And in the smart event tab, uh, as there's the microphone, there's this line that catches the frequencies. You can detect in abnormal sounds, noises. Yeah, so you got it too here. And well, the storage, yeah. But well, what I gotta say? So far, nothing extraordinary. And well, you probably saw it hundreds of times. But we are interested in the VCA section. That is setting up an intelligent video analysis functionality. You see, there's a people counting mode selected by default. And well, that's what I need. So I continue to the people counting next step. Now, what happens here is we need to create rules depending on the situation and the location and the environment you have here on the scene. And it all starts with the calibration and the green calibration zone. So there's two options, an auto or a manual. With auto, you have this rectangle and well, yeah, we're adjusting its size and position like I do. And to make it be straight on a flat floor. Let me just make it, all right, well, seems good. So I'm gonna make it more accurate. And we click the calibration. Waiting, calibrated, successful. And now you see this red rectangle appeared. Uh, well, yeah, everything's good for me. And there's also a manual mode. Uh, so yeah, what distinct is that when you press calibration, you gotta set the parameters all by yourself. The uh, lens height, tilt angle, hill angle. Well, you got it. Well, I stay with the outer mode because, well, yeah, I got it here. Um, now, let's start the exact adjusting, creating a zones. So, uh, here we have a door inside. Oh, hold on a sec, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, here we have a door and we'll be using it as a basis. Now, what I do, I draw a blue rectangle, this button, I draw a blue rectangle region one, I start it and yeah, I draw it inside of the red counting area. Uh, that is set automatically. You have the red one. Now the right mm, mouse button. And there we are, done. And now, no, 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 as I did this, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna draw a, uh, the, well, the exact detection line itself. So there is it, a second button. And see, you see the direction and this button, makes the direction change. Well, of the active element that you're adjusting right now. So yeah, this line does, well, the exact people spotting. And well, yeah. Now we gotta put it inside of our region and configure it this way. I wanna, I wanna do it like, like this somewhere. And, 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 and somewhere right here, maybe a bit. No, so it's okay like this, I guess. Yeah, so it just gotta be inside of the red rectangle. Doesn't matter about the blue. And so if, yeah, 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 
and there's also uh, this buttons, the A uh, region A and region B, which mean uh, that uh, A uh, is the entry region and B is the exit region. So if a person crosses region A initially and then B in a second turn, this is considered as and counted as an entrance. Uh, conversely, if B is a first point and A is the second, then this is uh, the way out and it's counted as an exit. All right, so yeah, this button changes that directions. Now I gotta save, I'll wait till my colleague uh -huh, is out to well, start it well, clearly and saving. And save succeeded. So we're actually, yeah, have done it. And uh, well, here we can set a schedule, the arming schedule, uh, and uh, what's really awesome actually about all of this stuff. So, no, let me get back. Uh, only a person who entered this zone from the outside, like say like from here, yeah, and then completely crossed the line in this exactly this direction, and went out and went out in this zone on the opposite side, like here or here. Uh, will be counted and only that person will be counted. And well, this is how a random intersections and random passers-by are excluded by the system because we need only those who entered the door uh, and that is cross the line in the set direction. Uh, let's continue. Shield region, here we can create a mask and well, yeah, shield protect the region if you need it. So yeah, it goes like this. I don't know. The rectangle, but the green one. Well, I don't need it. Anyways, uh, what else was discussing further? The reports and reports in real time. So we're going to the data uploading tab. And well, you see here, real time upload data. Yes, of course. Turning it on and cycle setting it to one minute. Also, the email report. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It will be delivered to the mail that we have inputted. Early in the video, I've showed you where. I turn off and take all of this, and I want to get a daily report only, and in the Excel format. And I'm saving it like this. Save succeeded. Fantastic. Now, the overlay and capture, you know what is this. All of this uh, inscriptions on the exact stream image and like you. And let's go to the advanced. Now, uh, here's what else to look for. A height filter. There is it and a children filter all well. Yeah, a children counting Accordingly whether you need to count children count them separately and whether you need to count objects by height uh, So yeah, here you can adjust this and well now I'm turning it off because I'm, I don't need it for demonstration and saving save succeeded save succeeded and uh, what I want to finish with is the application tab in here where we can see the statistics, the statistics about a counting people. Now, report type. Yeah, we can set a report time. Let it be daily. Then I want it to be daily. Statistics type. People entered. Now, I want all. Let me, let me just see it. And we'll start time and let's turn it on. Uh, that's about children here. But, well, let it be. Even if I get it turned off but and here we are we can pick the interval and we can go for another view of charts there we go i mean much better to you uh now yeah and well this is uh, namely how rapids uh they will come to your email are going to look the same way like they are looking here uh, and so what I'm gonna do now get back to a VCA and finally turn the people count on because uh, I didn't actually uh, to take here and save to enable this function because I didn't want it to count yet but now I do so I take it here and saving and here you go you see enter zero lip zero and now I'm gonna test it out all right I've asked my colleagues to come in and go out of this room by this door to demonstrate to you how does it operates real time. Now let's see and count along with the camera installed right here. 
and I could have actually switched to this zone to like view, but there will be no zones drawn there and you won't see it. Now you see, my colleague has just entered the room and now it is counted as one and leave is still zero because he didn't exit the room yet. And now I'm just going to wait and see it real time as it actually does, it actually is happening right now. Now you see there's a multiple people right there right now and I was a passerby but he wasn't counted but the uh but he will he was counted and now let's see and enter now two enter two and you see it doesn't uh, and leave two and you see it doesn't catch the door movement exactly and now uh, let's wait waiting a bit let's see this oh Oh, I guess he just asked how the people to do that and enter three live three awesome and you see he was just passing here but he wasn't counted because it counts only when you go from uh, somewhere here from I mean this this entrance and go in here and uh, well leave somewhere here and well yeah happens just again but it's clearly that it works perfectly and here in the application tab yeah i mean i just want to show you that the camera and its algorithm is well really accurate and it's fantastic and here of course you're gonna uh see see your statistics but i don't see it now because as you can see it's 15 minutes at least so oh no is it oh it's earlier oh all right i got it anyways Let's sum up. I didn't see anything particularly complicated in a setting up or working with the supplies. The standard settings first, video, audio, image, motion detection, and then setting up the intelligent people can function. And there and here everything is fine as it's not difficult to configure. So everything is clear and the most important, great accuracy and real-time reports, plus filtering objects and children by height which just only increases the output accuracy. So uh, in a Babel system store, we have got this smart AI enabled cameras such as today's model, uh, PTZ and speed dome cameras, and not that only, but also on alarm systems, IP intercoms, and many other devices, brands. And if you indicate that you're a subscriber, we will make a more interesting offer for you. Need help? The questions, descriptions of your tasks are always welcome in the comment section below and well, none, a single one will go unanswered. Thank you for watching.